Sean Sewell with ingimit.com and we're on the mountains here in Colorado, Jones Pass specifically. We are testing out this, the V-Volt Sirius e-bike through some serious, serious conditions. Let's give you a quick view of where we're testing this bike at. It's not billed as a mountain mountain bike, more of an e-bike that's capable of getting you to the mountains. So I decided to take it up this pass about a mile and a half into it and about a half mile to go to catch the sun rise. Been very impressed with it. Of course, we've been using it in the city for commuting, which is probably what you'll be using it for as well, but I just really wanted to put it through the proper engearment testing protocols, which is where we are right now. A lot to share with you, a lot of great things on this V-Volt Sirius e-bike. It's got so many cool features I cannot wait to share with you. So let's get into it. Well, good morning from Jones Pass, Colorado. On this fun test this morning, we are testing out the V-Volt Sirius e-bike. Now I've been using this in town this week, but I saw in the advertisement, your ticket to the backcountry. Well, this, this is my backcountry. That's where I come splitboard. Backcountry skews my friends and colleagues. So I figure I take the V-Volt up here. So far it's doing really good. Uh, it has five levels of assist and it is pedal to assist. There's no free ride. Still got to put the work in. But uh, it's really impressive what it's been able to do so far. So come with me in the next few minutes of our journey. All right, there it is, the V-Volt. What this is, is an e-bike, obviously. There's a lot of features going on with it. Mid-mount motor, belt drive, that's pretty awesome. The real magic happens in that clutch back there. Notice there's no derailleur, nothing exposed. There's infinite amount of continuous variable transmission that is handled up here in the handlebars. And I'll show you how that works in a second. What this drivetrain and motor equal is a very smooth experience for the user, very reliable, less maintenance, and um, the ability to get it to a uh, different gear, a short gear, while stopped. So I know a lot of bikes you have to, you know, think about when you get to a stoplight or when you need to stop quickly, you have to get the gearing right so when you do start back up, it's not so hard on your legs. This, you can change gears while it's stopped. That's a game changer. All right, for reference, I am six foot one, 210 pounds. This is the men's large, extra large. Um, very, very good geometry. I'll tell you about the installation, the setup. Hardly any. I put together at least six different bikes out of boxes and I have always messed them up. This one did not mess up one bit. They say 97% built uh, in the box. Nothing to argue with that. Basically the front wheel was separate. Uh, you put it through the fork, you take the little brake um, protector, the brake caliper protector out. You put the wheel with the rotor into there. Got a through axle, through axle, keeping things nice and steady. And then basically you adjust your seat to your height and make sure the battery's charged. That's ridiculously simple. Even I didn't mess that up. So speaking of the wheel, let's go through the features. You get hydraulic disc brakes in the front as well as the rear. You get a hundred millimeter travel shock. Looks like that's about right there on the way up. The cabling is really well managed. So you don't have a bunch of cables hanging around. Hydraulic Disc brakes, like I mentioned, very strong. The trip computer, right here, I'll turn it on. Hold the button down. It comes on. Okay, so you can see we're working with here. Zero miles per hour, obviously. Assistance level is at zero. Now it's at one, two, three, four, or five. I had a level five on the way up this hill. This hill was tough. By no means does having an e-bike make it cheating. Uh, this is a category one e-bikes. So you still have to pedal to assist. And when you do, this really smooth torque motor kicks in and it propels you fluidly. It doesn't kick in and make it awkward. It makes it very, very smooth. It still gives you all the best parts of a bike experience with just some assistance, which I needed to come up that, <laughs> that pass. 
I come up here in the winter time on my split board and my friends on their backcountry skis and we tour up here and it, it takes a bit of effort and we go up to right around there and drop in and that's a that's a several hour operation to get up there this trip took me less than half an hour to get from base camp to here to shoot the third take so it probably took my 20 minutes actually which is remarkable all right back to it there's a battery life right there 17 miles so far in the last day on the odometer and then over here this is another one that where the magic happens this new vinci uh is the continual variable transmission. So watch this. This is a guy right here. The little guy on the bicycle is you. Oh, I got a big heel. Let's make this easier to approach. Cool. And then, oh, we're getting on a flat. So you can go a lot faster. So you can, right there. So it's really easy. Just simply rotated or not. And notice again, the bike is stationary while I did that. So that opens a lot of possibilities for people in urban commuting situations. You came to a stoplight, you need to get going again, Got kiddos with you or some on a, on a cargo bike possibly it makes things a whole lot more approachable the battery is right here decent sized battery it is removable there's a key right here you can this key is not the ignition this key will remove the battery so keep that in mind you can charge it via the port right here or you take the battery off and charge the battery separately and or for anti-theft there is the belt drive right there and the hub, the Magic Hub. Comes with the pedals, comes with a rear bike light, and it comes with a front light, which I took off because I figured it's just gonna fall off when I go downhill and I don't need it right now. But it's nice that they cover all the basics to get you literally, you get the box, you open it, there's only one way to open it. The packaging materials are minimal. They did a great job with the packaging. In fact, there was no zip ties to cut, didn't have to do that. I, um, the Velcro they used to attach the, the wheel to the bike, I actually used to help attach the bike to the bike carrier on the way up here. Just thoughtful, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle. It's good stuff. So back to, uh, it comes with everything you need, aside from a helmet and common sense. Uh, bike seat, and the seat is gel padded, very comfortable. Bike lights, even the kickstand comes with it. And the kickstand, I'm not, not going to remove. I like the kickstands, they're actually very functional. Um, Usually I remove kickstands when I go to use them, but majority of the time I use this bike is going to be in an urban situation. So there it is. I am really, really impressed with this. And it's not only my opinion. I've taken the V-Volt to our gym in Denver, Existence Athletics. I usually bike commute. It's about five miles round trip. I was so excited the first day that I put 20 miles on the bike. Uh, every time I had a 20 minute break, I was getting the bike and go bike. When I wasn't using it, gym members hopped on it, adjusted the seat to their height, and we're just zipping around on the trails. We have a, a very nice trail system here in Denver. And everybody came back and I said, where can we get one? Um, well, I'll put a link below where you can get one. I'm really impressed. Um, a lot of my clientele and colleagues also have e-bikes. Um, they love them. Um, I'm learning a lot about how people utilize them. One of my favorite case in points, if not for urban commuting, would be people who live in smaller towns like mountain towns here in Colorado. It's a great tool to get to the farmer's market, to a concert, or just visit a friend. And not have to worry about parking in a parking garage or finding a parking, you know, paying $25 in you know big mountain town to park when you can just take this guy and a lock and call it a day. You can get side bags, uh, baskets, so you can you know carry your goods, your flowers, and groceries back to your home. Um, <clears throat> This mid-mount motor, I gotta talk about it. So it has been fantastic for all things in the city. I pushed the heck out of it. And I mean, I really, really pushed it going up this hill. I don't know what the incline is, 12 to 15% perhaps. It's, it's a steep one. I worked my tail off getting the bike up here. I had a level five assist and it, it helped get me here. But that is absolutely pushing it. They're not advertising it to go up and down mountains. They're advertising it to get you point A, point B. Um, but you know, as per anything, I want to push the boundaries safely. And I think I found the boundary right there. Uh, don't expect it to take a 210 pound adult zipping up a mountain. I, there was times I was doing nine miles an hour up the mountain. And I was pretty excited about that. There was times too where it was very challenging. So it is a good tool for most conditions, especially in urban conditions with rolling hills. You can handle dirt, absolutely. Um, I would not take this to the mountain bike park per se. <laughs> um, it is 56 pounds, which is lighter than some e-bikes. Um, I know that there's a question, can you use an e-bike on a traditional bike rack? 
I called Yakima, the full swing we have a review on will handle it um, just barely. I put it the closest setting towards our 4Runner and I was on a fire road for several miles and off-roading a bit and it did fine. But your mileage may vary, no pun intended. Just check the specs and see if it'll fit. Um, there are different bike mounts out there that are more uh, suited for heavier bikes like e-bikes, but in the e-bike category, 56 pounds was not that heavy comparatively. All right, hopefully seeing all these features on the bike and seeing how I used it, where I'm using it uh, is, is helpful, is inspiring, gives you some hope on how you can use an e-bike. If you got any questions, and I hope you do, please put those in the comments below. Of course, I'll put links to purchase it. I believe it is $27.99 from B-Volt. Uh, I'm Sean Sewell, owner and director of Stoke. And I'm gonna hop back on the bike and I'm gonna go up there. Until next time, Take care. So check out some of the places an e-bike can take you. So I go uh, backcountry snowboarding. Couple of my favorite backcountry camping spots. One behind the camera, right there. Another one just up the hill here. Whew. A lot of rock.